Nutrition is the most expensive factor in poultry production. Therefore, to reduce the cost of raising your animals, one should improve the feed efficiency. The use of food additives as growth promoters in poultry nutrition is one way to accomplish this goal. And this brought about the use of growth promoters. Growth promoters are used to stimulate growth, protect the health of poultry, and to maintain the maximum potential of poultry beds. On this video, I'm going to discuss about two types of growth promoters, how they work, and the best that will give you the desired result. What's up, my people, and welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. I remain your anchor, Ishokri Ovokironyi. You can call me Ovorans. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, how to grow your farm, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. So ensure to subscribe and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. In the poultry industry, the demand for rapid growth and optimal feed conversion rate has led to the widespread use of various growth promoters, especially in broiler production. Broilers are often raised specifically for meat production, and they have significantly benefited from the addition of growth promoting substance in their diet. This practice not only enhances the growth rate, but also improves overall flock health and productivity, ultimately influencing the economic viability of poultry farms. Growth promoters are typically classified into two categories, the biological and the chemical agents. Biological agents often include probiotics, prebiotics, and enzymes, while the chemical agents are ranges of antibiotics and synthetic compounds designed to stimulate growth. These substances function by improving gut health, enhancing nutrient absorption, and increase the feed efficiency which together contribute to the accelerated growth of the broilers. The chemical agents of growth promoters as antibiotics are the chemical products obtained from certain strains of microorganisms at low concentrations that can inhibit the growth of other microorganisms and may even cause their death. In the past, the use of antibiotics in food as treatment and either at a low level of care which is as growth promoter was very popular, but the use of antibiotics in livestock and poultry may increase bacteria resistance. So in recent years, the use of antibiotics as additives in animal feed has been banned or restricted, and the use of other additives as alternatives have gained a lot of attention. The reason for this restriction is that they have not only residual effect, they also cause antibiotic resistance both in animals and humans. And the implication of this is that even after slaughtering, dressing and cooking the meat, you still have some of the strains of antibiotics in them. When this is consumed over a long time, it leads to complication. It continuous usage also leads to antibiotic resistance, whereby the antibiotic will no longer be effective for the purpose it is being administered. Though there are several antibiotic growth promoters that have been banned from use, there are some few ones which are still being used in most countries. They are called antibiotic growth promoters because they act as antibiotic and as a growth promoter. A good example is monesin. Monesin is used routinely as a poultry cosidiostat and as a feed additive to improve feed efficiency. The other form of growth promoter is called non-antibiotic growth promoter. This form of growth promoter has gained popularity in recent years due to its availability, pocket-friendly and easy to make or get irrespective of your location and lastly, it has no side effect or residual effect in either man or animals. There are countless numbers of them. There are also different classes such as probiotics, prebiotics and enzymes. The application of herbs as growth promoter in animal feed is becoming common worldwide due to their antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immunostimulant properties, as well as their improving feed efficiency, nutrient digestibility, and animal performance. To cut the long story short, traditional medicine herbs 
can also combat the negative effect of heat stress in broiler chickens. And all these are gotten in a relatively cheaper form than the antibiotic growth promoters. Another innovative approach in broiler growth promotion is the use of phytogenics, which are plant-derived compounds known for their antimicrobial and antioxidant properties. These compounds can enhance digestion, stimulate appetite, and reduce the incidence of gastrointestinal disorders in poultry. Phytogenics are natural compounds found in plants like essential oils, herbs, spices, and saponins. When these substances are used in specific combination and added to poultry feed, research has shown that some phytogenics can improve palatability and feed efficiency and support bed gut and immune health. When you introduce phytogenics into broiler diet, it not only boosts broiler performance but also contributes to a more sustainable approach to poultry production. Most phytogenic compounds are found in a wide range of plants as essential oils. For instance, they are extracted from aromatic plants like oregano, mint, and thyme. Wild fruits, nuts, and certain tree bark are good sources of tannins. Dried herbs, including garlic, turmeric, and ginger, also contain phytogenic compounds, while compounds such as flavonoids and polyphenols are found in fruits and vegetables. These are better alternative to antibiotic growth promoters and are less expensive. I have a series of videos about all these herbs which you can use for your brellas production to cut costs and to improve the growth rate of your brellas. You can use the link below or in the description box to watch them. I will also drop the link at the end screen of this video. Do where to check them out. Please, I believe you've gotten tangible information from this video. Kindly help me to grow my channel by simply subscribing and click the bell icon to get regular updates whenever I upload a new video. Give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.